Did you see this coming that Mr. Montag would go back to the mothership? No. To your point, he had worked at Goldman Sachs, left for Bank of America, helped make it a trading powerhouse. Some would say saved it. Let's not mince words. But remember, when he left in 2021, it was after a string of news that really questioned the culture under Tom Montag. There's a few things going on. It's his grand return to Wall Street, the board of Goldman Sachs. There's only about just over a dozen people already on this board, very closely knit board, at a time where there are a lot of questions about the culture at Goldman Sachs. Remember, we're only a couple weeks away from a story that was in the journal entitled Goldman right. Sachs is at war with itself. So does Tom mm. Montag, who has long worked with David Solomon, seen as a closer ally to him, start to bring the bank back together and really secure the idea here that David Solomon can well, bring the ring? Well, in back the, in the upset of Goldman over the last three or four days, and we're not going to go into all the soap opera about it in that, Solomon was at Bear Stearns. And then he and Montag know each other, right? Mm -hmm. So Solomon brought him back. In that process, who does Solomon go to to say, I want the guy from Bank of America to come back to Goldman Sachs? Well, it's interesting because it's not just Solomon. <clears throat> yes, he's the chairman of the board at Goldman Sachs, but there is still an entire board here. Yeah. And you think about, you know, who are the key players? One of those very key players is a secretary to the board, John Rogers, who has worked for CEO after CEO over at Goldman Sachs. And the sense here is that you really can't lose his uh, confidence. Uh, Goldman Sachs is not going <clears> to <throat> make fickle decisions here. Yes, there were huge pivots in strategy. Yes, Excuse there's been a lot of griping, but this is year five for David well, Solomon, uh, so certainly a sensitive time. Of Kate Kelly's article in 2021, huge long article on Tom Montag is a, is a dinosaur from Wall Street. He's like a dinosaur like me. He's, he's doing better than me. Uh, but, you know, Mont Montag from another time and place talking about work from home and all that, he was dead set uh, uh, against it. What's he going to bring to the board? He's not going to tell them how to construct swap contracts. <laughs> Well, one thing that's interesting, one is just confidence in David. That's number one. Number two, and, and this is, by the way, a very astute way to explain the story here from the scoop from Sridhar Natarajan and Catherine Doherty, because remember, this is, again, a question of uh, the next five years at Goldman, not the last five under David. But remember, while we talk about consumer, you talk about it all the time. It's a drop in the bucket. It had been a drop in the bucket for Goldman's revenue. They had been performing and beating on their core business lines. They have expanded their lead in mergers and acquisitions in the last couple of years. Their trading desks have done extraordinarily well, although then what's the time problem? This, this is what I don't get. I mean, over the weekend, there was a lot of gossip, just outright gossip, which we don't do, on this bank. And all of its centers around OMG, David screwed it up. Has he? Well, the gossip has been for months, isn't it? Not even just this weekend. Uh, I don't know if you've been hanging out in the Hamptons too, Tom. I know <laughs> you like to talk about it. But at the same time, remember, there's a question of why does Goldman need to be something else? Why can't Goldman just do what it does best, win at trading, win at investment banking? I think that's currently the existential question for Goldman.